Hello everyone. It's a really great honor to meet uh, Mr. Igar, and uh, he's a very great journalist. And we just knew that uh, that we are traveling with uh, with a journalist. Uh, actually, we are going to Ivano, so it's a uh, very great uh, talking with you. You're overestimating me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, just uh, Igar, tell me that uh, you are telling that uh, about your uh, uh, documentaries on on the TV, and you work in uh, many countries. So tell about me and like which countries you work and uh, what type of documentaries you made? Oh well basically I've done a lot of documentaries uh, on different subjects so okay. uh, there were documentaries uh, on the portrait of the serial killer. Okay, so this documentary was the serial killer uh, of the Ukraine right? Yeah it was the, the documentary regarding the story of the most notorious serial killer in Ukraine who actually killed more than 100 uh, girls and he was convicted to life sentence. But the uh, point of the story was that he managed to find a wife from Russia Good. and they conceived a child in jail. Oh. And basically I was communicating with both of them okay. uh, separately and together in prison. They were inviting me to have some cup of coffee. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I refused doing that because, you know, <laughs> it's a little bit too provocative. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, he, they tried to explain me uh, his actions. Okay. Um, it was an unusual interview because uh, at first I did not actually understand how to behave in okay. such type of person. Yeah. But then we found the common language and that scared me even more. <laughs> <laughs> but in the end he told me that he remembered every single victim okay. and uh, he could not even explain why he was doing that. I believe that he knew the answer but he was used to tell me the real reasons. Yeah. Still we managed to analyze his portrait and the reasons for his potential wife uh, to marry this guy. There is such a phenomenon as uh, hyperstophilia. It's when uh, ladies are getting affectionate about uh, guys who convicted some crimes. That is like a psychological issue. And we managed to um, analyze this uh, subject in depth. So, like uh, you told me that uh, not even in Ukraine, like uh, you work in many, like German and Poland. Yeah, also. yeah. Basically, we are covering different countries: uh, Poland, Bulgaria, Netherlands, uh, in Germany, and Italy. So, basically, we're traveling to different places. So the last place that I was. Which countries to... you like more, like uh, in this field of uh, experience? Uh, you know, every country is unique, and I love uh, getting something. From Myself and yeah. it's like a new landscape and yeah. it's very it's um, every time it's uh, fascinating you know yeah. because you're getting something new you're learning something new and you're trying to put uh, yourself into the surrounding and get something out of it as well like uh, yeah, yeah it was like uh, our conversation but before uh, that you told me that your mother is doctor and yeah. uh, you're all you're also like to be a doctor but you yeah, choose you, you, you choose your <laughs> your passion and uh, go in the field of journalism yeah, yeah, yeah. like many parents uh, like uh, impose their decision but you choose your own uh, like will and you are coming in the journalist uh, yeah, without uh, any education actually <laughs> so tell me about the journey of like how you came into the journalist field like from the beginning of your life you wanted or yeah you know i wanted to become a journalist it's like 10 years old. Okay. Yeah. But there were like two different vocations that I wanted to pursue. Medicine and journalism. Yeah. Uh, and I decided to go the other way, the third one. Okay. Uh, in the field of translation. Okay. <laughs> so basically I got the degree in translation and interpretation. But having worked like a year or two, I realized that it's not for me at all because you have to be in the shadow yeah. and you cannot actually put something of yourself into what you're doing. You have to be extremely precise and there is no space for creativity yeah. and then I resolved my mind <laughs> and decided to, yeah, yeah, to pursue something else okay. and it uh, led me to the capital of Ukraine in Kyiv and I found what I wanted uh, to find there yeah. so right now I'm doing what I want yeah. um, it is uh, talking to a yeah. lot of people and I'm learning from them that is the most important uh, like uh, in the whole journey we talk with you so much and we learn many things from you and uh, I like talking to you as well you yeah quite cool guys and uh, in the future uh, we will like that uh, whenever you're coming to our city where we study Ivano we Definitely. will, yeah, we, will sure. uh, we will like that uh, the part of your documentary and uh, we will be a part of this uh, we are very happy and uh, nice to meet you nice and to meet thank you, you so well. much yeah. and tell us uh, about uh, uh, our channel like and follow this channel
I believe that there are going to be a lot of more stories uh, on it. So thank you, find cool uh, things here. Okay, thank you so much.